Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am very excited. My daughter starts her swimming lessons. So right now it's early in the morning. We are going to Walmart to get some of um, her things to get ready for the class. We are going to Walmart to get her some swimming um, diapers, some a nice little swim towel, and maybe a swimsuit. She has one upstairs, but I don't know if I'm gonna um, use that one. So I might just get her a new one. Um, you think she but like that? I said before, if you are new to this channel, my channel, hit that subscribe button, um, hit that notification button so you are notified when I post a video. I'm telling you, these videos are coming. I work full time, if you guys don't know, I work full time, and it's kind of hard for me to work full time, watch my daughter, be a mom, be in motherhood mode, and then post a video, post a video. So, yeah, but... I got some time off coming soon, so they're gonna be bad to bad to bad to bad. Y'all gonna get tired of me, so that's why I said hit that um, subscribe button so you end the notification so you'll know when I post a video because I'm telling you it's gonna be bad to bad to bad. So, yeah, so let's take that trip to Walmart. You wanna go this one? Okay. You like this one? Oh, let's go and see if they have that's what we were looking for so this is my first time getting pamper splashers um so i'll do a review on these and see how i like them 31 pounds mediums but you know what? I guarantee you the smalls are gone. Large. <gasps> the last small. <laughs> you were meant to swim. But you know what I don't see? <laughs> and look what I find. I don't see a price. But... I will be using these. I think these will be too big for her. Hey, she looks tired because she is. I woke her up. And here's her So you're probably looking at this video and I'm like, oh, that baby looks tired. Probably because she is. Um, oh, bless you, honey. I said bless you. You got another one coming? No? Okay. Um, she's tired and that's only because 
she went to bed she went to bed at like two o'clock this morning like where we do that at so now i'm just trying to get her on the um rotation a new sleep schedule basically i'm trying to get her on a new sleep schedule um so she, i woke up around 10 and she's a little sleepy but i'm gonna try to keep her up and she can take a nap after her swim class and that would be around like 1 30. i think that's a good nap time so let's get these towels and head back home so we can get ready for a swim class in a couple of hours London's very first swimming lesson. The lady that just handed me London, she is one of two coordinators that keep the program running. One thing I liked about the program is that they did not use chlorine in the pool. They used another solution um, to keep the water clean and that wasn't harsh on the baby's eyes or skin. So right now I'm going to meet and um, introduce myself to the instructor. <laughs> So now we're at the end of day one of swimming. At the end of the lesson, everyone is allowed an open swim for the last five minutes. The babies can do another lap of the pool, play with the toys, or jump in and out of the pool. 
What I liked about this instructor is that she created a little waterfall for the babies and the toddlers to go under. The first time London went under, she wasn't having it. She didn't like her face getting wet. But as we kept going underneath the water, well, I would say as London kept going underneath the water, I couldn't get my little two braids wet. Those braids have to last seven to ten days. So as London um, was going underneath the waterfall, she was getting more comfortable with the water. So also you guys are going to see week two or lesson two of um, London swimming class and she's more comfortable with the water. If you look closely, she's kicking more and she's splashing me and she also enjoys getting out of the water, sitting on the side of the pool and coming back in the water. So also guys, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram, okay? Thank you and continue to watch. At the end of lesson two, I wanted London to try to go underneath the water for a second. I did talk to the instructor before doing it. She encouraged a side swoop, as you just seen. With the side swoop, um, less water gets to the baby's nose. I talked to other mothers, and another way is slowly bringing the baby underneath the water and quickly bringing them back up. With the instructor being in the pool, I felt more comfortable doing it her way, but I will try the other way in the future. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so you are notified every time a video is dropped. Also, comment below if you put your baby in swimming lessons and tell me your experience. Lastly, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is juggling underscore motherhood underscore. And um, I also put a lot of Insta stories up so you wouldn't be bored on my Instagram page. Thanks for watching and continue to watch. Thank you.